Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Nuzlocke Challenge, Game 3. We are so far two wins, zero losses. Very nice, very nice. Playing Kaiser in bot lane. Didn't arguably want to play Kaiser, I will say. Um, I was going to play Tristana, and then, or Jin, then Tristana. This account doesn't own those champions. Obviously, I am getting League Partner on this account, but I haven't got it yet. So that was a bit of a... Uh, uh, I recognize, by the way, this player. I don't know, Rain? Were they in a game earlier? It vaguely rings a bell that they were in a, in a match earlier. Another Kiana player, a one trick and Nivea, apparently. But yeah, Smurf City, Smurf City. Duo jungle and mid. Let's see how this goes. Do you want to start? Yeah, I'm going to start Blade. If you're really confident you're not going to get poked out too hard, you can go Longsword. Like, well, technically, Longsword start is okay against poke because you get more health potions, but you're squishier. So it's kind of a trade-off. Knight of Valor. Thank you so much, dude. 22 months of Prime. I put on the helmet. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get a kill here, but if we just get a flash... Good. Oh. Do I have... Wait, what the hell? What's the emote button again? Can't remember. T? Oh. Maybe it's not banned on this account. The enemy support was the Kaiser from last game. Oh, right. Okay. I thought I recognized the name. She she had a really bad game, but she also had a kind of troll AP Twitch support with her who didn't lane. So that's always going to hurt your lane phase. Hold out ground. Um. What? I'll take you and your confession back to HQ. That was weird. Maybe they knew. Oh my god, that last hit. Are you serious? I'm eating very quickly, by the way, just so the Twitch, also oh, YouTube audience and Twitch audience knows. Again, I'm at the beginning stages of a cold. I've got a pretty sore throat, especially with talking for hours. Um, so I am taking a strepsil to try and help with the throat. Yeah, this is going to be an uncomfortable lane until we go all in because we're just going to get poked out. But the moment he lands a QE, he might be all right. But he has to land one. He's got the uh, new Pike skin. skin uh, yeah, in, Twi in Champ Select, he did say I'm a terrible support, but don't flame. The Pike literally said that. So, um, yeah, we'll see. So far, he's living up to his own words. <laughs> He did it. I see that's not too bad. Good job. Yes, we did have Kiana here, but his first hook did translate into a kill. Pops over. Yeah, if an Olaf gets ahead early, I don't think you, many champions can stop that. Obviously, the Anivia said in champ select she's a one-trick Anivia. I'll try not to be overly critical. If I see Everfrost, though, I am going to rage. <laughs> well, not rage, but I'll be sad. Such a bad item on Anivia. Like, if you want to maximize the champion. Be, she should go Rod. Rod or Leandres. This is nice for me. So where's Pike's roams, by the way? His roam isn't crazy hurting me, and he helps mid. Like... I don't mind that. Don't over roam as a support, but this isn't too bad. I technically should have gone back. Oh, Wukong's invading. Okay, he shouldn't be staying now. This is now that now it's hurting me. 
by how little he's in bot lane. Get the one kill, go back, use your gold, and then bam, come back to bot lane. Staying, sitting in a bush is just going to hurt me way too much. Because now the Caitlyn's catching up in farm, and that's annoying. So again, these are the things that you need to know as a support. It's okay to roam at good times. It's a good job he got the Lysandra with the Anivia. But don't stay there. Because now I'm getting denied heavily. Oh, you really can't land anything. I have a support. Wukong could be coming bot. Alright, this is going to stop pushing, maybe. Not too bad. Go, 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 go. No, I'm dead. Dude, I did not realize she was coming back. That sucks. That was bad timing. Yeah, I might get it. Oh, she's really low. Got that kill. Oh my god. Stupid. <sighs> I came back for the others who could not. Alright. Bot lane bit fiesta, but understandable with what's happened. Gwen's getting wrecked. But well, they traded as a tower. I really don't care about the football schools. Yeah, Pike's roaming too much. This is actually hurting me now. Unfortunately, this lane started pretty well, and then he over-roamed. And this is the danger of over-roaming. -over Dude, you have to land that. But that's not even about being a not good support. That's just missing a skill shot on a champion. Hey, well, the doctor, how you doing, man? God damn it, dude. Please. Ward? No. I have more vision score than my pike. Oh my god. Plus. Pike plus. Every one he misses. Nice.
Oh my god, you didn't even aim! Wait, Kiana actually went back. Oh. You could have flanked them now. You didn't need to do that, it was on its way. Oh, we have a jungler bot lane. Hi. Okay. This could go really good for us. Bro, how much damage do you deal? What the hell? Whoa. Damn, he did a lot of damage. I did not think I was going to die there, if I'm honest. Damn. Good damn it, Frosty. <laughs> he goes, they can't predict the skill shot if I don't aim. <laughs> Is that the Pike's philosophy? Oh, God. Oh, that's funny. Oh, so she's still going Leandre's then, huh? Okay. And uh, Leandre's is always going to be good on Anivia, clearly, but Rod of Ages does interest me. I just... Uh, Rod of Ages as an item, it does need apparently a couple buffs. So, maybe... Maybe after the buffs. What? Okay. I'm 100% probably just out of date with the builds. Why has she got a tier map? Oh, nice. Like, why? What? It's a little overtuned. Oh. But it is a thing. Why aren't we killing these, Guiana? These are definitely killable. Is Rush on most AD carries now? Oh. This be news to me. OG underscore cheer. Thank you so much, dude, for the brand new Prime. Amazing. Thank you, man. Oh my god, fight! <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is not again it, it, literally it's nothing to do with being not a great support this is just champion mechanics it makes no difference if you're playing with support or not nice uh oh dude wukong's damage is insane what the hell uh oh oh she nearly just killed everything by pressing R. Nice. Keanu is such a dumb chef. <laughs> oh, God. I'm in a good mood. I like playing League when I'm in a good mood. League is one of the best video games when it's going well. It truly is. When it goes bad, League does suck. That's the problem. What build am I doing? I have no idea. Gonna go cracking into something. Spoilers. I will make a difference here. Nivea is an Olaf counter. <laughs> yeah, it's probably PD. What? This is so weird. Oh. Nivea got cocky. Let's go bot lane again. So they've lane swapped. That's weird. The 
I guess, like, the, the Lissandra's getting wrecked. I don't know why you'd blind pick. She blind first pick Lissandra, by the way. Not a champion you do that on. Very, very peculiar. I'm stronger now. I don't know. I... Okay, why are we just chain feeding the Olaf? Can we not do that? Oh, well, this is good. Damn. God, Wukong's damage is insanely impressive, by the way. He's doing a lot of damage. Aiden is just staying bot lane. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can kill Caitlyn. She's going for the tower. She is backing off straight away. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Got ult. Oh, why didn't you ult? Even if you don't get the execute and ult, the extra little bit of damage would have probably saved his own life. Don't underestimate just doing damage. Oh, hello. That's that one. Oh, no. She was in range of W? Wow, she even misplayed that, but it didn't matter. She misplayed it exhausted. Like, you don't have the damage for that, buddy. Yeah, this Pike is not good. He did warn us that he's not, but Joe uses. She's a hard champion to play. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm the Pope. Oh my God. Oh, she went, yeah, lit, she went invisible three times within five seconds and one shot the Caitlyn. I don't honestly know why people defend that champion so much. It weirds me out. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Doesn't seem the uh, the the Caitlyn's doing a lot of damage, by the way. I don't know. She's do she's got wave clear, but that's about it. Oh, he had ult still, huh? <gasps> no! I need <laughs> I nearly lived. I nearly lived. Hey, the head alchemist. 20 months tier once has been quietly watching for a while, though I don't have much time since starting a teaching career. I love your vids and streams still. Huzzy, congrats on master. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. And congrats on being a teacher. Some of the unsung heroes in society are teachers and you guys do not get enough like thanks. So well done. I was a doomed outsider. People are everywhere and they are all mine. 
Oh, he's got the broken spear. I still, it boggles my mind that Riot brung back spear. For those that haven't played the game for a long time, Spear of Shojin was in the game and they can never balance the item and then they choose to bring it back. Why would you bring back an item that they never could balance? It's just the weirdest decision in the world. Yeah, I'm alright. Olaf, Olaf, son. Your team has destroyed. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. To be honest, in the game that there's a Nivea, he shouldn't have gone Ghost. He should have gone Flash. And Nivea's way too powerful against him. I can go back and get PD, which would give me the um, my own stealth. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Karabakh! Thanks for the seven months of promises. Hope the game is going well so far this morning. Yeah, so far, 100% win rate. Uh, two games only, but still, not bad. Because remember, if we lose this game on Kaisa, we no longer can play Kaisa in the series. And I like playing Kaisa, so that would be a shame. Oh, this Pike. Wukong did use ult for a support, but and Caitlyn used ult, but still, he shouldn't have died there. Okay, Lissandra's the same level as me. This Nivea's not bad. Oh, that was close. Don't have ult. Damn. Oof. That was a... Not the best engage. I think it was a little bit rushed. I think Gwen went in really early. Dude, this pike. Really? Oh, this game actually might be a loss. We're playing pretty damn sloppy. Presumably the enemy team have got some TPs. They just have smite though. We should bring it out. Kill him. Aiden is so weak. Like Jesus, she's weak. She had advantage over me because of the like how lane phase went. Well, if that is a new build, I so far I'm not very impressed with it. Look at this! This is just... <laughs> no one can say to me what she just did was hard. <laughs> she was perma-stealth. Like, what? Oh, uh, goddamn Kiara, dude. Ah... <sighs> Like, after you've just learned the basics of Kiana, that's about it. She's a combo champion and a knowledge champion, yes. But she's not more than that. And some people really think she's one of the hardest. It's just weird. I don't get it. I don't.
I'm cool. I nearly killed my own pike. This was a split fight. Oh. He's not gonna kill. He is. Pike, oh, earlier, uh, yeah, please. <laughs> this pike has really not helped me this game. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, he, he did it. He hit a hook. He hit, oh, we mucked up. <laughs> oh, Pike. Oh. <laughs> what is this guy main? I need to see. He's not a Smurf. He's a Aatrox Darius Garen player. Okay. Oh god, at least it's funny. I'm gonna go get red. Ugh. I like Ravenous Hydra, man. Did they definitely overtune it? Again, I don't think Caitlyn should have it. She doesn't seem very strong. But Kiana's got it, Olaf's got it. Do, 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 do. No objectives really up at the moment. So people might just be waiting for a pick. Okay. Hey, F1 fan, Leno. Can't believe the season's over, man. Sag. Have to wait till March next year. March next year. Oh, I was looking at Twitch chat. F1 fan Leno, 22 months resub. Thank you very much, my dude. like Kaiser man yeah that was good it was patient enough some people I'd say one of the things that a lot of people in the league don't usually think is a thing you need is patience patience is actually quite important They're all up. They might try Baron again. I'm kind of okay with giving them Baron though. You might think that's a waste on a support, but it's actually not. Number advantage is always important. They should go Baron. And now I should go Baron. Yeah, they did it. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, though. They've definitely based by now, surely. Oh! No, they haven't. Oh, I hit that. <laughs> this pike. Nice. Very nice wall. Yeah. I'm okay with the Baron. When you've got the massive lead that we've got, them having Baron in theory won't do too much. What was that Keanu roll?
Caitlyn's damage is getting there? Yeah, but it would have got there quicker if she didn't go Ravenous Hydra. Like, her build, like, if you actually look at the items that she's bought, she's got two wave clearing items. So she's like, she's got Ravenous Hydra and Runin. Her actual single target damage is pretty bad. Like, I don't, I wouldn't play Caitlyn to get good wave clear. She's already got okay wave clear with her Q and her, her thingy advantage. Um, thingy, uh, you don't know what I mean. Uh, range advantage. This is just overkill and it leads to too little actual damage. I don't know. And that's my experience. It's my first time playing against a Caitlyn doing this build, and I'm just underwhelmed by it. Woo! Yeah, weird split pushing. <laughs> yeah, don't delay power spikes, especially with Pike. Pike did over roam, and it did hurt me a bit in bot lane. Caitlyn had advantage, and like, she kind of threw it away. If she just did a pretty standard build, I don't think I would have been able to do much versus her. But if you notice in all of these fights, I just run at the Caitlyn, ult at the Caitlyn, and I can kill the Caitlyn. Because her 1v1 strength is just not there. Close. We need pressure elsewhere right now. Yeah, maybe the Hydra's okay, but then she shouldn't have gone Runin. Runin was like the overkill. Like, yeah, I don't know if she meant to do that, but she literally pushed the Wukong away. We are three for three and in three different roles. We have one in mid, top, and now AD carry. So we've got two more roles to go if we're going to complete the first five games role challenge. Different role each one. So next game we'll queue as jungle and support and try to get a win in those roles. Very nice. What was my top pick? Scion. And again, just to make it clear, in the top left, it's kind of bugged. It says that we've lost the game on Scion. That was a remake. Uh, we got into the game, our gangplank disconnected, and then didn't continue because he thought he was top but was bot lane picked gangplank by mistake and he remade the game so um that doesn't count we didn't lose we didn't lose any lp for a remake it's not an actual match that doesn't count but it is in there which is annoying uh but there we go we're up to platinum four so that's not too bad game three out of ten we're in plat four again just reminding everyone this isn't a fresh account this isn't like an unranked diamond challenge this is my practice for next season um, so after placements, if we're near Diamond, that's not bad because we want to be playing against OK players. Um, and we'll see how high rating we can get, you know, during preseason on this account, playing different champions and ultimately eliminate eliminating champions that we lose on. We no longer can play them again. So, yeah. Um, so, Anivia, uh, sorry, Kiana goes 15-3-18, 50,000 damage. Yeah, she just did insanely well. We went 14-5-10, uh, 31,000 damage, but Kiana kind of just kind of outshone everybody this game by just one-shotting everything. Um, but yeah, very nice. She was level 18 as well, only level 18 in the game so far. Uh, and, you know, we did we did good in bot lane, considering we didn't really have the best support, and the guy admitted that himself. Um, we did okay. I think we weren't punished that much by the Caitlyn, who, by the way, is a smurf herself. We just don't know what, obviously, rank smurf she is. Um, yeah, her build really didn't help herself. Uh, she had strength, but... She threw it away, especially, I'd say, at the Runin's point is where her damage just seemed lackluster. The three items point, she had a Runin's. It was like, huh? So I could just all in her every time and win. But that's going to be it. 
If you guys did enjoy, that's game three. Three wins, three different roles. Throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal peace.